free at last. Oh, God almighty. Arsenal held free at last like Martin Luther King. Free man like Morgan. I'm outside the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and them pussies are not here, fam. Where's that walking multi? Hi, and welcome along to the best of enemies. I never came to the game because I'm going to give everyone COVID. That walking Maltese has stayed at home. Trooper <laughs> running up his... <laughs> in, the, in the preview, Aaron Haramsdale blood, Martin Asgard blood, all these side men, fam, and none of them don't know KSI, you know. <laughs> Listen, big up true. Just have a little, little look at what he said just here. <laughs> I remember, hit the like and share button. All the links for all the, the content creators in the description below. Subscribe to them, support them, help the fan channel community. Deal. But well, Arteta needs a new squad, blood. Yeah? You know them way there, fam. Just no blood. You man came to the Champagne Lane, blood. Not the Tottenham Hotspur <laughs> Stadium. The Champagne Lane, fam. And you man got put in a spliff, blood. You know them way there. You can hold top four for now. But I'm going to be holding a spliff. I'm smoking troops tonight, blood. I'm smoking Robbie tonight. I'm smoking Robocop judges tonight. I'm smoking Graham Potter with facial hair Lee Gunner tonight, fam. <laughs> you are, <laughs> blood. <laughs> All right, compose myself. Go. Who else, fam? I'm smoking everyone tonight, fam. I'm telling you, bro. No one don't want to smoke with me, fam. Everyone was running up their mouth, blood. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Bukayo Saka. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Big Daddy Cool, blood. Is my man. Shame about the Arsenal. Da, da, da. You dickheads, blood. No, no, big man ting. That was complete. That was 50 shades of grey. That's what it was. 50 <laughs> shades of North London. You man were dominated, fam. I ain't seen domination like that, blood. I, unless it's 18 plus and you got to put your password in, fam. <laughs> it's, a great, it's a great, great match reaction from Man Like Expressions. Big, big him up. Link in the description, like I say. I do want to ask him why he's down an alley, though. <laughs> I want you got all the, Get in the crowd. Get amongst the Spurs fans. But anyway, absolutely. Listen, I, I get where he's coming from. I get... I get the, 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 I wouldn't even call it frustration. I actually get where he's coming from in terms of that, 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 uh, the passion coming out because too many gooners going into this game were acting like it was a foregone conclusion. Jelly on ice, jelly and ice cream on Derby Day. It's going to be a party. And they come unstuck a little bit last night. It's not the end of the season. It's not the end of the top four race, but it was just this mentality of we will get a result there. Um, and they got battered. <laughs>
I am saying that right there is the reason why the referee is a disgrace and he ruined the game because he had no control of the game. He went on to give one person a red card for a similar incident. The man didn't even book him. That so is great so negligence. The, the, and how is this man is a referee after that incident where the man fully elbowed him in the face as he's sitting down and you're telling me that I'm the crazy one. This guy is an absolute fool. He doesn't deserve to be a referee. He's not done it once, not done it twice. That first half, honestly, the penalty, he tried to give a penalty when their own player, when a Spurs player, handballed it in their own box. He- <laughs> Do you know how bad the delusion is? The referee didn't try to give a penalty. The referee held up play because VAR said we're just checking something. Because in real time, they saw a ball hit a hand and there was a cluster of players together. They checked it and they saw that it hit a Spurs player's hand. So they didn't give a penalty. That's the level of delusion there. And I understand the gal's anger. Like a lot of Arsenal fans, that, that, that they're just trying to pretend like they're not as frustrated or not, was... or, or not as angry or not as, a, or not as annoyed. Now, this is, the, this is the, the opposite side of things. Now, this was Colleen, okay? So let's, just, let's, just, let's put this up. This was Colleen's reaction to Arsenal losing last night, talking about the game in general. Can we just fuck off top four for like two seconds? For two seconds. This is a North London derby, yeah? We, what, we came out for the first three minutes? The first three minutes was a pathetic performance. Rob Holding. Rob Holding. I don't even know what the fuck he was thinking. He's one of our most experienced players. We have a guy at Tavares week in, week out. When he plays, he makes a mistake. One of our more experienced players comes in and does that in a North London derby. I don't care what it means or we could have got... um. Champions League at Tottenham's ground. Fuck that for two seconds. It's a North London derby. And what was that? It's fucking pathetic. It's a... And do you know, Colleen is bang on. And this was the thing for me. This is, this is what's missing at the moment. And, and, and this is a fan channel reaction video. And I will say this about fan channel content. Football fans have got to stop being politicians. If you're the host of a show, I understand you being more neutral, being balanced, you know, asking questions because you're trying to uh, 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 harvest opinion. But football fans are meant to be football fans, you know, and you can be angry at the performance last night without overreacting. You can be annoyed at the performance without, you can be annoyed at the performance without saying, I want the manager sacked. Do you get where I'm coming from? Like, sometimes I just want to see fans be fans in the moment. React to that game. Because you're angry, because you swear, because you might say that it's, holding was a disgrace today, it doesn't mean you want Arteta sack tomorrow. It doesn't mean that Bakayo Saka is never going to be a good player. The polarisation from football fans has become, it's honestly making this industry boring. So big up to Colleen and other Arsenal fans last night that just called it how it was on just on the night, it needed to happen. And for me, it needs to happen a lot, lot more. Now, I want to take a look here as well. Lee Gunner last night, here's his reaction. Um, but let's get on to this game. Rob Holding, uh, brain dead. Brain dead. What is he doing? Absolutely disgusting. What is he doing? You've had one lesson. You've had two lessons. Son schooled you twice. You got away with, you got away with it twice. Third time, why are you pulling him back? As soon as that happened, I said he's getting sent off. Two minutes later, bang, forearm smash, should have been a red. Uh, he got a second yellow. Uh, off, gone. Cedric Suarez, what are you doing? Like, genuinely, what are you doing? Capitulation settings. What are you doing? We see that with Mustafi, by the way, a few seasons back, where he did exactly the same in the box to Harry Kane. But what do we know? Um, we have conceded four goals less than Burnley, by the way, this season, uh, who are in a relegation battle. Wow. And they are right down there fighting and scrapping for their lives. But according to top gooners, who, by the way, all walking out the ground 10 minutes from the end, why weren't you backing your manager? <laughs> so I'm, I'm, toxic. I'm toxic. It's me. It's my fault. <laughs> it's all my fault. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, Listen, I want to touch on what Lee is saying there as well. Because... Listen, I stand by what I've said. I've seen improvements in Arsenal this year. I'm not going to yield from that belief. But where I, I get where Lee's coming from is this, these gooners. And I've been saying it for three months. And I've been, I've been, I've seen screenshots from group chats. I've seen videos shared about me, things that have been said about my friends of mine, good friends of mine that are just, people don't know they know me because they've been friends of mine since we were kids or something. They're in these group chats. And you can't even have constructive criticism about Arsenal with some toxic fans. It's unbelievable. There are still so many improvements this Arsenal team needs to make. 
so many, they are not at the top of the mountain. And I think Lee's spot on about that. I think that element is they've conceded too many goals this year for a team that Arsenal fans were suggesting was title worthy, title, title worthy, title worthy um, winning defense or title winning defensive ability they had. I, I, whatever the fucking phrase was, I don't even remember. But for me, it's an absolute madness. It truly, truly is. And I get the frustration of people like Lee. Lee's, Lee's too far out there for me. Lee never gives any credit, even where credit is due. But some of these points, they hold water. But people want to ignore them most of the time just because they don't like Lee, because they don't like the way Lee says things or they don't like the way Lee, Lee goes about stuff. And just for me, the excuses last night, blaming refs and soft penalties. Remember, the penalty that Arsenal conceded last night was almost a carbon copy of the penalty they received against Manchester United. In the grand scheme of things, are, is it, are they both soft? Yes. But if you celebrated the penalty that you got, then kind of stop moaning. That's always been my my way of looking at these things. I've always looked at things that way. If you're going to complain about, if you're going to celebrate the, the soft ones that you get, just learn to take it a little bit more on the chin. Just learn to take it a little bit more on the chin when they don't quite go your way. I, I just think, for me... That's that's the way forward here. No doubt about it at all. Please make sure you're smashing like buttons. You're leaving your comment section below. Let's take a look at the brilliant AFTV and what man like Ty had to say last night. Let's have a little look. Premier League, you wait for FIFA to, go to do something about the disgusting disorder that goes on in between these games because it's absolutely disgusting and it's not good enough. It's not good enough. And I'm really, really dis disappointed. Dis disappointed. And even, and, and even we've been actually, we've actually had to stop filming because we had moronic Tottenham fans coming up and talking rubbish. And I think it's absolutely ridiculous. If you've won, be happy, but don't start coming and start swearing and saying rubbish. So they're an absolute disgrace and absolutely disgusting. Okay, let's 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 go into the the, the game. The now. Um, <laughs> I love that. It's two minutes in. Do you know what I love about Ty's fan cams? You should always. This is respectfully. I mean, f go about two three minutes in, then he starts talking about the game. It's shout outs and <laughs> always having a pop at some kind of officiating uh, other fans. Let's see what he's got to say about the game. Let's talk for me, and I'm never I'm never one to really blame referees or officials, but. Today, it felt like they really were against this Arsenal side. Do you, would, would you nah, say Cecil, I love you, bro. Cecil's a great guy, a top-class presenter. He's going on the big things. But come on. I know you're a hosting, but come on. Yeah, that Would you say they kind of made the the game go the way it did? Yeah, that's that's nothing new. That's nothing new. Mm. Rob got sent off for Elber and Son, but... Son did you see that? That Because for me, that did actually look clear, that, that decision. I didn't. I didn't see it. I didn't see it, but that's I didn't what see probably it. Got, got sent off for. Uh, do you know what I want to also point out here? Arsenal fans have been very clever with their wording. It's politics again. Holding got sent off for an elbow. I don't think it was a sending off. He didn't get sent off for the elbow. He got a second yellow card for the elbow. It was a yellow card offence. It wasn't a red card offence. I, I think that's what's being missed here. Like they talk about Son's elbow on the floor. And for me, Son's elbow was fairly similar. I don't feel like it was a a red card worthy challenge. He probably should have got a book in, no doubt. But Rob Holding had just been booked. And if you've just been booked, we all know the rules of the game. You don't go and make any other silly tackles. within. A, with, with, you try not to make any more in the whole game. But if you do it within a five minute, 10 minute span, you know you're getting that second yellow because you're fresh in that referee's mind. But then Son elbowed Rob. So why didn't Son get sent off? Why didn't Son get sent off? Second yellow. And, and, and the penalty, <laughs> did he go to VR? Why? Why would he? Why would he go to VAR? <laughs> he didn't need to go to VAR. He doesn't need to. There's a push in the back. Another little thing: all penalty decisions that are given are checked on VAR. Like all goals are checked on VAR. The difference is we just don't always get shown them on television. But it was a foul. It was a push in the back, and Cedric just got it wrong. What you're meant to do is kind of wait for the guy to be in the air and lean into him. He smashed into Son before Son had even taken off the ground. It was stupidity from Cedric. That's when, why didn't go to VL? That's a big, big decision. It's meant to go to VL. Why? What? What's, uh, did you see what happened? Because for me, I, I honestly, I was, I was sat quite close to it, but it wasn't. It didn't seem clear cut for me to say that was a penalty. I didn't really see too much what was going on there. But did you, did you see it? Do you think it looked like a penalty? I didn't really see what happened, but that's not my job or your job. It's the job of the referee. And to me, when you have a decision like that, you 
go to VAR. No, uh, listen, uh, I love you, Ty. You're a great guy. Big up AFTV. Remember, all links in the description below. But no, you don't just go to v VAR. VAR is there to ensure that no clear errors or mistakes, clear and obvious errors and mistakes have been made by the referee. The referee is given it in real time. VAR will check it. They will message into the referee's ear every single time and say, well, we've seen this. What did you see? He'll relay back. Well, I saw a push in the back. For me, it's 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 this. Unless the, 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 the VAR said to him, but there's actually no push in the back. We don't know what you've seen. Then they would check it. For me, look, Arsenal fans have just got... Listen, Colleen was brilliant last night. Um, uh, Lee was brilliant last night. They, they took the L. They took the L and actually said, you know what? We, we didn't deserve this tonight. We don't deserve to be the winners, the victors tonight. Move on to the next game. This blaming of referees, again, I think uh, allows Mikel Arteta and his team off the hook. 13 red cards since he was appointed. And I do believe at least six to seven of them are for violent conduct or for denying clear goal scoring opportunities ridiculous levels of aggression from your team and it is costing you points. That, for me, is where the focus should be. But everyone that's tuned in, a big, big thank you to each and every single one of you. Make sure the like buttons are being smashed. Subscribe to all the channels that are featured on today. Go check them out. All the links in the description below. As we say on the territory, we really are about trying to support the fan channel community as best we can. Take care. Goodbye. God bless. And we'll see you all again soon.